Hey, what is up? My name is Gary Torello. For those of you who don't know me, I am a wellness and personal development coach. Yes, that's me. I'm based in Bali right now. Travel the world a lot and uh, you can see this is not stockpiling for Corona at all. This is stockpiling for the week. Uh, see, the secret to a delicious smoothie bowl is making sure your bananas are as ripe and as fresh as possible. So we have a big ripening station, as you can see. All these babies are green in a couple of days because we're in the heat of Bali. They're gonna be nice and yellow and spotty and ready. That's the secret to a really good, uh, tasty smoothie or smoothie bowl, right? Have your fruits as sweet as possible before you freeze them. Don't be freezing green things. It ain't good. It's not delicious. But the caveat to what I wanted to get to was the secret to living life in today's world as abundantly as possible, upping your nutrients as much as possible, requires real focus on a nutrient-dense diet. So what does that mean? We live in a world that is genetically modified, right? All our food is genetically modified. It's really sapped and destroyed, and the, the vitamins and the minerals that are in food nowadays, even plant-based food, is not as strong as it used to be so many years ago. So I'm a big advocate of superfoods, very, very big advocates. Uh, they can be pricey, those powders, but they are potent, potent. And the best way to get all those powders in, get your high vitamin C to combat viruses like Corona, uh, get in all sorts of minerals and vitamins, etc., is to throw all the powders into a smoothie bowl. <laughs> and, uh, or into a smoothie, if you don't prefer sitting down to a smoothie bowl. It's a smoothie, you can drink it, and then you can have your daily dose of liquid sunshine, your daily dose of vitamins and minerals. It's absolutely epic. I try and have mine every morning because once I have it, I'm absolutely pumped. And here's a little story for you. For those of you that don't know much about my history, my journey into personal development and personal growth and exploring and finding my purpose in life was really uh, caused, first step was cleaning my diet up. Why is this? Because we might have emotional obstacles, but we also have physical obstacles. And because we've been eating rubbish for so, so very long, uh, we need to go through a process of detoxification. Going into whole food, plant-based foods, um, nutrient-dense whole foods. I like to call them one ingredient foods because you're not turning around a package and there's a million ingredients on. We need to start detoxing our body of all the shit that we've eaten our entire life. For me, it was 26, 27 years of eating shit, taking many drugs, doing lots of alcohol, uh, and just like exploring the world in a very like uncaring manner. So what happened was when I discovered nutrition, I started studying nutrition, uh, and I was super interested in when I started cleaning up my diet, I started getting a mental clarity like I've never had before, right? I started, uh, gaining patience and a calmness that I've never had before. I started, my whole body started to transition and my body physically looked different and better and all, all that and I started to lean up. Yes, that's one pro to it. But the other pro is I really became more vibrant and the more clarity I got in my mind, the more I became aware of how I was not living my purpose, my my energetic pool, my calling, I was not. I was stuck in a job that I hated, but I refused to admit it because I was conforming to society's ideals. I don't know if you guys feel the same right now, leave me a comment down in the comments below. Uh, and if, if you feel like you need to like step out of your comfort zone, should I say, or should I say the disaster zone, uh, yeah, comment down below, say hello, throw me an emoji, whatever the case. I just want you to know that it's possible. And my first step, was stepping into a clean, nutrient-dense diet. Now, I didn't stop there because I started exploring different modalities and now I incorporate movement, I incorporate nutrition, I incorporate personal development and personal growth uh, tasks, um, d diaries, journaling, uh, having coaches, having mentors, and it really is in order to attain the best life possible, you have to look at life on every single layer emotional, physical, mental, spiritual. I like to call it heart set, soul set, health set, mindset. We need to get it all in line so we can be, our energy can be in line with the universal pool, that universal energy. 
Yes, there are some people out there that are made for corporates. Yes, there are some people that are made for being a yoga teacher. Whatever your calling is, start listening to it. Listen to your intuition. And I promise you, listening to your intuition has never been easier now. If you adopt a clean, nutrient-dense diet, it's the first step. Give me a shout out, comments below, send me a DM, whatever the case, send me a private message. I'm here to help you. This is what I do. So many of my clients have found such abundant growth within the first week with me just helping them change their diets before we move on to the mental and emotional stuff. So yeah, shout outs, peace, love, rock and roll. Leave me a comment. If this is on YouTube, subscribe. I love you guys. Till next time.